When I think about my life, I couldn't imagine anyone else to share this journey with. You make me strive to be a better person. You are the person I want to wake up to every morning and grow old with. And all of my best memories start with you. I can't wait for the years and memories to come. I love you more. You're my best friend. You're my soulmate and my biggest fan. Love you, Kate. As I sit here and try to think of the words that I would like to tell you, I can't because of the joy that has overcome for me for our wedding and for you to be my wife. There are so many things that you do to help me become a better person and a better man. You mean the world to me. I probably should have wrote this sooner instead of the morning of the wedding because I can't think straight because today is the day that the rest of our lives start. I could have picked a better person to spend the rest of my life with. I love you so much, Brad. <laughs> and so today, as you exchange your marriage <laughs> vows, the Lord makes a covenant with you. It's not only going to be you two involved in this marriage, but there's a third party. It's the Lord who holds you and binds you together and gives you happiness and peace no matter what happens in your lives. With great joy, I present Brad and Catherine Dixon. May God grant them many happy years. Catherine and I met um, freshman year in college. <laughs> the first time we ever met, I thought she was the most obnoxious, loud, outgoing person I had ever met in my entire life. She had run through my apartment screaming, and I was like, who in the world is this lady? Like, I couldn't believe it. Well, come to find out, she was actually my roommate. <laughs> Lucky me, right? It took me a while to warm up to her, to be honest. Uh, I don't actually know when it was that we clicked, um, but we became sisters pretty quickly, actually. <laughs> Um, I made a best friend. I made a lifelong friend that day. And I'm forever grateful to stand by you this day. So <laughs> not long after that, Brad came into the picture. Um, and I was really happy to share her with him because he'd been fantastic to her. She uh, went to a concert. <laughs> and uh, when she came back, she talked more about Brad than she did the concert. Um, she, no, you made her night, I promise. She doesn't like to admit it, but she did. She ranted on and on about him and then proceeded to tell me that um, early in her life, she told his sister that she was gonna marry him. So this is <laughs> huge foreshadowing at that point. So it's been written in the stars for you guys. Ever since then, they've been walking in life hand in hand with more compassion and laughter and compromise than I have seen in any of the people that I know. So. This is a toast to them, to a very long, happy life. I love you both. I'm sad to give you up, but I'm happy to give you to him. <laughs>